Morning, girls. Welcome back to Amberlynn Reed. We are back here again with I Ate McDonald's and my dietitian emails. Proof and receipts vlog. This is embarrassing already. <laughs> the second I saw that, I was like, this is... Like, literally, she could have her dietitian walk in here and sit down and show her degrees and diploma and photographs of her in her clinic. And then she could get in the car and drive us to the clinic that has her name stenciled on the door. And I'd be like, huh, cool, paid actor. I don't... You aren't convincing anyone. Anyone. And the fact that you feel you need to do this should be proof enough to you that you will never convince anyone. Ever, especially if your proof is going to be like showing the fucking email because bro, I can email myself from a fucking fake business address and it would be fantastic. Also, of course, shows her with a bag of McDonald's in the, in the thumbnail because she's back to clickbaiting even though she's like dying or something like that apparently based on whatever storyline we're following here. Let's just get into it, guys. 1.25 speed, let's go. Hey guys. Hello. Welcome to a new video. Is that it? So... Is that it? Not Heiza, not, not hello, hello, nothing like that, just hello. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. How are you, Amber? <laughs> Normally, you know. Oh my god, what the fuck is this acting? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, what is this acting? What is this? Oh my god, what what what, what bombshell is she about to drop on us here? <laughs> what bombshell is she about to drop on us? Oh, she's trying so hard to make this dramatic. I can't fucking wait. I'd be coming at you with like, uh -huh. hey, day 10 and no takeout. Wow. But I can't say that today. Oh no. No, I can't. Oh no. I under ate yesterday. Hardcore. <sighs> sure. Sure you did. But, yep, sure, sure you did. 100 percent I I I believe you so much, even though you claimed you eat eat the same stuff every single day. It's always the same stuff over and over and over again. But apparently she under ate and I fantastic. And my body and my uh -huh. mind uh -huh. felt it. Uh -huh. And my body and my mind and my soul and my spirit. Can you stop trying to act like you know anything about anything? She always tries to make it seem like it's like such a big deal as opposed to, I was hungry. I was hungry. It's like, no, my body and my mind sensed that I had undereaten. I was like, no, you're, you're hungry. That's, that's, that's the terminology. Human juice, welcome to Earth. You were hungry and you decided to eat McDonald's. When I undereat... Uh -huh. I, I don't know what happens. You are already under eating. You claim that you eat like 800 calories a day, bro. You are always, this is like day 10 of her fucking diet. You have under eight for nine days straight. This is the 10th day of apparently under eating. <laughs> this is so silly. This is so fucking silly. I'm sorry. Fuck right off. But I don't, I don't know how to say no. Uh -huh. And I tried. For you don't know how to say no? How the fuck do you not know how to say no? Apparently this is like... You, you, you hadn't had takeout since December until like, fuck, what was it, April? And then she went like a month after, she like, she cheated. And then she went like a month be, with, without taking takeout except for two separate occasions. But now she's like, guys, I, you know, I just, I don't know how to say no to it. Well, apparently you fucking do, apart from when you don't. Hours, <laughs> I kept telling myself, don't do it, don't do it. Is this seriously it. the drama? Just... Makes is this seriously like the drama she's doing this like really fake obvious like opening for i thought she were gonna get like something to do with her fucking lung or something like that this is meant to be her like uh, guys i'm i'm so broken up i have mcdonald's guys i was gonna show you guys me sitting there and eating fucking asparagus but no, i had mcdonald's instead bro you literally are posing with the mcdonald's in the fucking thumbnail like you're having the day of your life what are you doing Something at home, but then it was like so late. Oh my and god, my just get to it and eat your nuggies. A few hours and oh my god. all this mess. I do not need the backstory. I can literally look at you and go, yes, you're 550 fucking pounds. I get it. You ate McDonald's. I don't need all the hoops to be fucking jumped through, bro. Yes, you know, I ended up ordering takeout. I did. Oh my god, I did you? McDonald's. Oh my god, McDonald's. I did. I didn't know that. Like you, you, you didn't let us know in the title or the thumbnail. I was like really shocked by that information. What is this? Um, I obviously, I, I regret it. Yeah, sure, I understand. I feel a bit you regret it so much that you were clickbaiting it twice. Like what? 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 I guys, I regret it so much, but I'm gonna use it for clickbait. Never mind. <laughs> Guilt, but I also uh -huh. know obviously. this is a lifestyle change. Yes. I never sure. gave myself like an oh. exact, you know. Can we just literally get to the fucking point? Can we actually, at any point, try and get to that fucking point? Because, like, I, I, it's like, yeah, eat McDonald's. 
Fine. Fantastic. Can we stop making this seem like it's this big a deal? You do it literally all the time. You're 550 pounds. Can we just not? Like, we're trying to make it sound like, oh my god, I finally broke down because all I've eaten is fucking air for fucking 10 days. Bro, I can literally see you and see that's not the case. Number of how long I want to go without takeout. Nothing like that. So, I didn't fail anything. There you, was did. you did. You did. You failed, you failed your lifestyle change. You failed your diet. Um, you're actually a failure. I'm actually disappointed in you as, like, basically your dad i feel like i'm your dad here i'm actually disappointed in you i'm not even angry i'm just disappointed let's uh goober as you can hear in the background is mourning your failure because she thinks you're a disappointing failure as well you're an absolute failure how dare you be such a failure why did you fail at not failing you're a failure nothing to fail you but did. i you definitely failed. did want to come on here and be but, like hey day 10 but uh -huh. it's so yeah but the, but you failed and so you can't come on and do that you're such a failure you're such a failure it's like fuck off this like I, I, I'm going to pretend I didn't lose because technically I didn't set myself a go Fuck off. Cringe. You're unbearable. <laughs> First day where I ate during my fasting. Yeah, sure. I had takeout. But wow. I didn't get a soda. So I'm still on day 10. Oh my god. Like, no soda? Oh my god. Like, no soda? Oh my god. Yeah, like fucking 20 nuggets. I don't care. <laughs> no soda. It happens. Sure. 100%. And I woke up. Usually, usually like, when, I, when I'm trying to pretend to be this, like, sad, I also then act all quirky in the middle of it. Like... Can we, like, I would have respected her a lot more if she just came out and said, yeah, guys, you know, I, I got a McDonald's. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm yeah, I might as well, you know, I, I got it. I might as well eat it on camera here for you guys because, you know, fuck it, why not? I would respect her more if she just came out and did this and said we have this, like, fake guy, like, she actually cares. Like, guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe I feel like this. Well, I shouldn't actually say I feel because I didn't actually feel I'm actually an incredible, amazing person. I'm basically the best person who's ever existed ever. So I didn't actually feel anything at all in any way. It's like, okay, cool. I'm glad that you're defending yourself in your own statement about how you failed. And then you have to be quirky about, but, uh, 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 10th day of no soda. <laughs> it's like, and then we get a hard cut back to this face of her pretending to be dramatic again. It's like, uh, can you, like, it's, can you just not? I was like, damn, I feel it in my body. I gained some weight. I, like, you know, like when you. Yeah, I'm sure you, you ate a McDonald's and literally 20 minutes later, you're like, yes, I've put on 10 pounds. That's how math and food and biology and everything works. Wake up and you feel a little swollen after a day of eating something maybe I shouldn't have, maybe too much sodium or whatever. Uh -huh. yeah, I sure. did. Yeah. I, I gained a pound and I. What? What are you joining in for? <laughs> Who are you talking to? No one, no, no one in here wants your opinion. Are you in here shout at the failure? Oh, you're in here shout at the failure. Oh, you can join in then. You can join in. I said damn, but. <laughs> Like I said, lifestyle change. Uh -huh. um, this Fuck. isn't a failure. It is a failure. It is a failure. Yeah, you failed. Why did you fail? Maybe you should try not to fail in the future, but you oh. did fail. She says you fail. I say you fail. Basically, everyone says you fail. The universe has said you fail. Oh. <laughs> Do you disagree with that? But yeah. Oh. Okay. This is a day that's going to happen again yep. in the future. It it's is going to happen again. You are going to fail many more times. It is unfortunate that you're going to fail so many more times. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying fail. I'm going to just keep saying fail as many times as possible because like the fact that she can't even acknowledge this as a, as a failure like does she realize that failure doesn't mean like failed forever failed everything like you know like the fact that she can't acknowledge this is a failure is is kind of just cringe because she still wants praise she still wants to pat herself on the ass for this she still wants to be like the amazing best person who's ever existed ever bro just accept your failures that's it and i have to learn how to accept wake up failures you towards success yes instead of wake up and repeat the same situation that I did. She is trying so hard not to say fucking failure. <laughs> I want to work towards success and not repeat my incidents. I know, I know, I know, Goober. The night before, like normally I'd wake up and want takeout again instantly. I but today I woke up and I said, okay, last night happened. Care. Now let's continue with the day. Let's continue. I bro. I don't care. How long? Oh, thank Christ. It's only another fucking 20 seconds before we get to the fucking point where she is showing herself eating McDonald's because, of course, why not? With my fasting, act like nothing happened, move forward, and have food at home. With these videos, I just want to be kind of like transparent and talk more about my journey uh, in depth and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, it happened. And now I'm just going to move forward. She's claiming she wants to be more transparent with everyone even as she continuously changes the timeline for like everything that's ever happened to her especially in regards to her weight and also in regards to her diet uh her her, her pneumonia as uh, she's claimed changed how much weight she gained that time everything like that everything like she's already changed all that but no guys okay, she's being more transparent here and this this scene definitely is not to just to, uh, please the feeders 
Okay. So this was my trash. Yeah. Well, our trash from yeah. last night. I also have some Lego trash in here, but I ended up getting a McFlurry. I haven't had one in so long. Yeah, that's a soda. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count that as a soda because it looks like it melted quite a bit. So you failed your soda challenge today. <laughs> um, I had a fry and some cheeseburgers. Uh -huh. Two cheeseburgers. Why, why would you just stop at one? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say, like to put it bluntly, how fucking fat she is, like genuinely, genuinely, this isn't even a joke here. How incredibly fucking fat she is. She could eat that and still lose weight. If it's two of like, the small cheeseburgers, a large fry. By the way, that was fries. Holy shit. Is that American large fry? Holy fuck. That is huge. <laughs> you, you fuckers. Jesus Christ. Why would any of you get something like that? Like that's like a three people fry. <laughs> and like a McFlurry. If that's what she ate. That, that, she's still under her, her metabolic rate of what was it, 4,000, 4,500 calories. She would still be well below that. She would still lose weight. So, I don't know. Transparency? So we're going to throw away. I wonder how many people are trying, like, uh, trying to scan that. <laughs> I wonder how many people are trying to scan that guy. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's not unique or anything. When I say that, I don't. I said it and I started going like, it's, how, why would it be on? Why would it be printed on the bag? That is so stupid. I, I just started speaking and I said that. I just fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that in. The trash together. So yeah. let's let's do that. If you're putting all the trash together, why don't you fucking get in that bag, love? Let's do that. I don't think we have a trash. I was just like, should I laugh up to that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, know, I know, Goober. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. That was a joke. Kind of. I'm trying in the trash right now. So I'm going to have to get... I'm looking at trash right now, too. <laughs> oh. I'm going to keep going, Goober. I know I feel bad about it. Too. Another trash bag out. What are we... You know... What, I... are, we, what are we watching this bit for? Like I don't. What are we? What are we watching this before? Oh, look at me, kind of just like dander around and put some trash away. It's, it's like, cool. Thanks. Just I feel better not eating takeout for sure. Uh huh. Sure, hundred percent. Have you mentioned that you're in ten out of ten agony from your lung? Like you've talked more about how you don't feel good after eating a cheeseburger than the ten out of ten agony. Of your lung that you might die from you know i'm just 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 saying it's almost like you forgot that storyline to go with this other storyline now instead 100 percent, the only reason we have this scene in because she wanted to use it to show her holding up her mcdonald's bag for the thumbnail that is the only reason she has fucking done this it's a learning experience you know what about the other 18,000 times it's happened? I'm sorry. Just like, guys, I'm going to treat this as a learning experience, bro. Like, you're acting like this is the first time you've ever got fucking takeout. That's okay. Now it's in the trash. Yep. And I'm able to move on. Oh. Let me put this trash in an actual trash can. Guess what I did? I don't know. Eat a McDonald's. <laughs> there you go. I'm all right. I'm all right. I finished my story night. Oh, okay. Oh. It looks better with the mountains in, in the way. Um, still pretty mid. Um, uh, do I actually like it? I'm unsure now. Hmm. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? That might change my mind on it. Uh, no, I'm just going to say I like it. Okay, I'm going to go. I like it. There you go. Like it. It's a, it's a seven. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. My God! Oh my God! She's a stunner! Oh my God! Just <sighs> beautiful. Yeah. I want to show you guys her up close. Oh. So I'm gonna turn on this we, here light. I just saw Look it. Look at! Oh my God! I There's like just saw major it, three. I don't care anymore. Hello, hello. I hello. am actually sitting at my desk. I have not sat oh here God. in forever. Cause Ex like, how many standing desks you fucking have? Because I, I thought maybe she had moved this one out to buy the cat tower because she started claiming that was where her standing desk was. But I know this is her standing desk. I know she's saying she hasn't sat here forever by her standing desk, but it's like, but you, you use the one by the cat tower all the time. I'm confused. I am very confused. I don't know. I don't know the layout of her um, of her apartment like other people do. Uh, this is like, this is a good look. This is a I'm losing face. Uh, losing face. <laughs> technically, technically she is losing face. Like the thought is kind of consuming it. <laughs> I was going to say, this is a I'm losing weight face. <laughs> but the I'm losing face face also helps. I've been standing uh, at it. Oh my god! Instead, have you been? Because I have this uh, little 
Wow. Like, it, like a cabinet, a oh drawer area. Isn't that where you like put all like the letters that you pretend to get from people? I'm trying to organize some of that, but yeah. I figured I would come on here because I'm just getting so many people. Oh my God. Like having- I'm assuming this is gonna be about the dietitian thing, but I didn't. I thought you didn't read comments. Oh my God. Conspiracies around. Yeah. Every last thing that I say. Who would, who would do that? Who would start conspiracy theories about anything that she does? Uh, <laughs> like, why are you addressing it? Why are you addressing it? It's like, oh my god, people start conspiracies about me. It's like, yeah, probably. Last video, you were changing dates and changing times and changing weight and everything like that. And then just say, oh, but guys, what? shrug, I miss speak a lot. <laughs> Teehee, I just miss speak a lot. Can't hold me accountable for it. Yeah, that, that's why people don't believe you and like, make up their decisions about you and think about like what you potentially are actually trying to hide that's why people make up stuff about you and like talk about you and make theories about you because you, you let them you leave it open to them because of your actions your behavior how much you lie how much you've been caught lying everything like that at this point you can't change it you can't fix it addressing it just makes you look stupid regardless of like what it is uh -huh. and it just gets heavy what do you think it is <laughs> it gets heavy it gets frustrating you're the, you literally claim that you don't read comments. Can we just, can we stop? Frustrating. But I think with something as serious as my weight loss surgery, I definitely want to show receipts. Oh, um, I, can't, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I wonder if she's actually going to include the email addresses. Because the email addresses, firstly, can be faked. Just straight up, they can be faked. So that doesn't really even help. But like, at least if she included the email addresses, there might be some verification, but I doubt it. Um, I'm actually going to be showing the emails between me and my dietitian. Uh -huh. This is something that is like, can't be faked. I could completely get yeah, sued you, you, you for faking could. something like you, this. The Weight Loss Clinic knows about my YouTube channel. So? They have seen my videos. So? <laughs> they have what are they gonna do? Come on and sue you for what? Like saying that they were very supportive of you and kind? It's not like you're like shitting on them with fake emails. Like then, then they might sue you because there might be some liable or damages or something like that. Like, but what are they gonna sue you if you're portraying them in a good way, like how does how does that make any sense? Literally seen my videos. They know about me. Um, there is actually this isn't a an couple offense. people who literally work there or have worked there this who know about me. Isn't that offense? Um, so me talking about my weight loss journey and everything around it from the very beginning, every yeah, I'm pretty sure because it's a medical procedure, they couldn't come out and say that you're lying about emails anyway. So this defense, once again, it it doesn't work. I was thinking, oh, I, could, I can't fake these emails because I could get sued. If, if you sent, if you made a fake email, that was your dietitian going, you're a fat N-word and I'm going to show up at your house and kill you, mainly because I don't like your girlfriend because I hate N-words. Do you know what, if you, if you made up a, a, an email like that, if you faked an email like that, yeah, yeah, you might get sued. You might get sued because you're slandering someone. You're portraying them in a negative light. They could potentially lose business because of it. They have actual losses. They might get hit online. They might get targeted online. That's actual losses. If you make up an email that just says, oh, I'm very supportive of you. I'm a really nice person. You're a really nice person. I want to help you out as much as possible because I'm a good dietitian. I want to be as kind as, as possible. What the fuck is a dietitian going to sue you for? What loss, what damages are they receiving there? That doesn't make any fucking sense has been completely true you guys know that i change my mind fast uh -huh. yeah <laughs> i am in and out of diets quicker than most people are in and out of their underwear well let's be real uh -huh. the fact that i wanted weight loss surgery for six months but, but that's if you even wanted weight loss surgery for six months that's if this was even real to start with in any shape or form that's like i'm sorry I'm, it, 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 just saying that this was happening for six months does not mean it was happening for six months especially when people are already pointing out in your last couple of videos that there's random fucking easter signs in your footage and stuff like that and people are going oh my god this is from fucking months ago just saying oh well, this, is, this is six months in, in the planning it's like that doesn't mean it was no it doesn't actually when there wasn't even a moment where i didn't want it yeah. well actually weird because you, you acted like you didn't want it and people actually called you out on it and repeatedly told you i don't know people thought you were quitting constantly for it so don't don't try and pretend like you were like gung-ho going for it the entire time especially when you kept feeling the diets and everything so clearly you didn't want it that much actually a big victory in my opinion and i'm sorry i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep making a point about all your massive failures this wasn't a victory I, I, I tried to do something and I didn't, guys. It's basically a victory. It's like, no, it's not. Why, why do you have to try and pretend everything's a victory for you when you feel so fucking constantly?
very new for me because I do yeah. change things. I fixate on things. I change my mind really fast. It's just who I am as a person. And okay, Abby, can, you, can you fixate on washing your hair? <laughs> I, I just keep saying it slip into view every once in a while. Can you fixate on washing your hair? Bro, do, was it, weren't, weren't you the person who keeps claiming like, oh, I lost the 89 pounds, the magic 89, 79 pounds, whatever the fucking weight it was. I can't remember just off the top of my head right now. And not, you're acting like this is the best you've ever done when you came out heavier than you started. How the... How does that make any sense? You spent six months going nowhere. It's like if I said, hey guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave my house today. I'm going to walk up Mount Everest. And then six months later, I'm still in my house. And I'm like, yep, I thought about doing that for six months. It's basically a victory. <laughs> no, bro, it's not. You're, not you're, still, you're still sitting in your house. You, you totally failed at your plan. It happens with everything in my life this is and the fact that i wanted straight wait, up I'll just fuck up this is straight up probably her worst vlog in a long time because it is just it's so long of just nothing but fucking whining and just sitting there whining at the camera and trying to be dramatic and trying to get sympathy and complaining about people it's like bro I would much, the, the, the only joy we've had in this entire thing was a 40 seconds in the middle where you talked about this fucking shitty piece of Lego. Bro, imagine being one of, imagine, I don't know, fucking cut your IQ in half, make yourself a literal fucking potato and actually pretend you're one of the people who actually enjoys her fucking content. Imagine how just this sticks out like a sore thumb. Surgery so bad that I paid for out of pocket for a lot of yeah, sure. the tests because my insurance wow. didn't that's crazy didn't cover it remember the way you had life insurance and then you changed life insurance to something that specifically did not cover weight loss surgery immediately before your weight loss surgery that you accidentally let slip recently like that's kind of suspicious kind of weird that you would with that you that you would like talk about that i'm sorry like it doesn't it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything i don't even know if it's real I don't even know if it's real. And I, you could show me a fucking receipt for it. I don't even know if that's real either. Like, oh my God, didn't we go through this entire fucking thing with like cake gate and all, where she was like showing proof and receipts and all, and it turned out it was entirely fucking wrong anyway. Her proof and receipts mean fucking nothing. Um, therapy, yeah. out of pocket. I have yeah. spent thousands uh -huh. and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to... How did that go for you? We're still here. You're still addressing angry comments. Like, you're still getting upset because someone on the internet said, Oh, I bet she failed. That's it. That's all they need to say. It's all they need to say. Oh, I bet she failed. Bet she got kicked out of weight loss surgery. And it's enough to have you melt down and have to dedicate an entire vlog to it. Get weight loss surgery because it's truly what I wanted. Sure. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, I right. Totally. I'm not ready. Yeah. This isn't something I want right now. Uh -huh. I knew. Sure. Because this isn't just, oh, I'm I just, I decided after six months that it's, I don't know, actually, it's not something I want right now. Like, that's really bad that you let that slip. Because it's, it starts off with like, I, I wasn't ready for it. It's, I don't want it right now. Those are very different things. Very, very different things. I am not ready for something to, I do not want it right now. It's just like if someone said, you can go to the Olympics. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck, bro, I can't even run the 100 meters. What the fuck are you talking about? Jesus Christ, that might be, I'm not ready to go to the Olympics. But if you're like, eh, I don't know, nah, I don't care. I don't want to go. I don't care. Very, very fucking different attitudes. I'm not ready to start another day on Jenny Craig. No, this is like, what? I'm not ready to go under anesthesia and have a large chunk of my stomach taken out. Uh-huh. I'm not ready for that. Well, and apparently you don't want it either. That's just like what you said. Remember, remember, I have a good memory. You said you don't want it now. And then I knew that. I kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. What? And I pulled away a little bit and I still wanted to complete my therapy because. So, okay. So you, so you, so you had known long before you had finished your th therapy. Cool. So you were lying to your, to your audience and your fan base for all that time. Oh, oh, that's no, really bad. It's really bad that you lie to your audience like that. I wonder why people like make up conspiracy theories about you. It's almost like you saying uh, that all this shit now kind of proves a lot of people's conspiracy theories from months ago that you weren't actually ready for it and you weren't actually doing it. That's really weird. It's, it's suspicious. It's almost like people were in, like entirely right about you. Oh my God, it's suspicious and weird and so strange. Like she's acting like she just suddenly was just like, oh shit, this is a surgery. And it just clicked with her and she just decided to not do it. It's like, how the fuck did you not know that? It doesn't make any sense. 
that's important to me. Like, I'm still seeing the same therapist. Sure. I'm not going to stop seeing him. Yeah, I Thoroughly love. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe you. That's why you haven't mentioned them in weeks. You haven't mentioned them since your last appointment. You haven't mentioned them since, since the 12th appointment, which is your last scheduled appointment that you need to do. You haven't mentioned them fucking once since then. Kind of suspicious. It's almost like you're not actually going when we used to get like, this is me doing my homework for it. This is me putting on my makeup for it. Oh my God, guys, I just had it and I cried, guys. So it's weird we don't get any of that anymore. Like, I need... I, I need therapy. Yeah, you do. You do. But when you I do. realized I wasn't ready, I knew I needed to vocalize that uh -huh. to my weight loss team. Yeah. And me and my dietitian, we we correspond a lot through email. Sure. So I felt safe. I felt safe enough to tell her. I felt safe. Well, that's a good face. I felt safe. What do you think she's going to do? Show up and karate chop you? Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. It's like, she's, everything has to be she's a victim. Everything has to be some kind of drama and some kind of victimhood shit. It's like, I only felt safe to tell her because we had we had talked a few times before. But I finally felt safe enough I could approach her and discuss this. I was like, bro, what the fuck? What do you think was going to happen? Do you think she's going to shoot you? Fuck off. This is silly. So she's the person I chose to tell. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to show you the email I, I sent can't her. Wait. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you. Cool. We've had like fucking like four minutes of build up. Get to it. show you the email she replied back with. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Uh, should I read this out to you guys? Some dramatic reading. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to touch base about my progress towards weight loss surgery. Recently, I've been feeling disassociated with the whole process and no longer have positive emotions towards taking next steps. Okay, good. I, I know that you have a thesaurus there with you. <laughs> I know that you have a thesaurus there. And you're trying to make this sound like really, really witty. This is fucking cringe. This may be a temporary mind frame, but I want to give weight loss one last shot on my own. I want to continue using the tools you've all provided up until this point of my journey, and we will even be continuing with therapy. With that being said, I'd like to cancel my appointment this Thursday. I don't want to completely terminate my relationship with you all, as there's still a possibility in the future of continuing to move forward with this process. But I... Bro, okay, I was wondering if there was actually any breaks there, or if that was just like a solid sentence that entire paragraph. <laughs> um... But I would genuinely appreciate the time to try to make this work on my own. I thank you so much for the time and support you've given and absolutely look forward to providing some positive updates in the future. Don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions or concerns about my decision. <laughs> Don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions or concerns about my decision. <laughs> uh, it's so silly. It's like, I, I'm not ready for weight loss surgery. I, I don't want weight loss surgery. I would rather just, you know, try it myself. Like, it's, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't like, make any difference. It doesn't. I don't, yeah, like I said, it just doesn't fucking mean anything. Um, kind of suspicious. This is from June the 20th, apparently, as well. Like, um, th th she said she'd been doing this for, like, ages. Like, I thought this was from longer ago, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I would have to check back on the dates and all, and I literally don't care. But also, firstly, it's not that hard to, like, fake this. It really, it really just isn't very hard to fake this, so... Mm. Okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, literally someone possibly who may or may not exist sent this back because we don't get a name or anything like that. <laughs> uh, cool, fantastic. So, uh, hello, Amber. Thank you for your email. I'm sorry to hear that you no longer have positive emotions surrounding next steps for the surgery. <laughs> who would respond like that? What human would respond using that sentence? I hope that is not the result of failure on the part of the staff here. If it is, please know that we only have the best intentions for you and we want to support you in every way that we can. If you do have a complaint, I am happy to connect you with our director to voice them and address any issues present. You may also, you may already have his email, but just in case it is, I'm sorry, no, just no. I'm, I'm sorry, there is nothing in Amber's fake ass fuck email where it implies that she was wanting to make a complaint or anything like that. I, I don't know why your first response would be like, if you want to make a complaint about us, please do it here. Like, there, there was nothing that suggested a complaint whatsoever. I, I know Amber had mentioned it, but when she mentioned it, I already was, like, questioning, because it's so fucking fake, that people just don't do that. They just don't naturally assume there is a complaint there. Like, surely the person would be wanting to get more information first on what's happened before going, like, oh, if you want to do a complaint, here, here, here's our director. You contact our director directly to make a complaint about us. I, do, I don't buy it. I don't buy it whatsoever. We welcome any feedback on improving the program as well as your personal experience as much as possible. In no way at all does this terminate your relationship with us or the possibility of pursuing weight loss surgery with us in the future should you decide to do so. It takes a village to achieve most anything in this life. That is a stupid statement. Once a patient, you, you are a patient for life. So if you ever need any additional guidance nutrition-wise, I and the other staff are just a phone call or email away. That being said, 
I am still so proud of you. You have come a very long way, and I am encouraged to hear that you are continuing your effort towards achieving a healthier, a more fulfilling lifestyle and relationship with food. Definitely keep it up. Keep us posted, and we're all cheering on you from the sideline. We wish you all the best. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, like I said, doesn't come across like a, like a real email at all. Like, it doesn't come across like eh, what, a, what a human would say. I'm sorry. Like, it, it also just feels weird that this was, like, done via email. Like, wouldn't, like, it be normal for, like, the, the dietitian to, like, ring them back? Like, I, I, don't, I don't think there'd be a severing of, like, a of like a contract like this via just a, but okay, if you feel that way, bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you want to make a complaint here, make a complaint, but bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Like, that this this is a contract, like this, surely she will like even though she's canceling an appointment that was meant to be a couple of days away, I'm, wouldn't they still be charging her for that? Like the, the, this is a contract she had paid them for weight loss surgery. Like I like I know she's paying it bit by bit by bit as she's doing different things with them, but this is a contract that she has entered with them. It it feels like it would be a bit too e it's just it's too easy. Like, I, I, Amber, obviously, she's not obviously smart person, doesn't really realize how business works a lot of the time, I'm sure. But, like, I, I don't think if I had, like, it, it's like if v Virgin, if, like, Virgin Media or something like that, you're trying to cancel your internet. That is, that is not a fun, easy time. I'm pretty sure with something like weight loss surgery, it isn't just, like, an email. Yeah, I don't want to do this. I'm, oh, I right, sweet. No, no sweat, mate. All right, bye. It, it's, it, that's not really how it works. Oh, God, we got to sit so here. So there oh, was there more go. emails that went back and forth sure, between I believe you. me and her after that. But those are just like the two main ones. That oh, so you're not going to show them. Okay, so so you're, you're you're lying. This is proof and receipts, but I'm not going to show you the majority of the emails back and forth or the receipts or anything. Cool, fantastic. We got two emails that literally could have been from anyone to anyone. <laughs> fantastic, I proof fucking nothing. And the conversation of me not wanting to do weight loss surgery. Oh my anymore. god! So many people still believe that either A, I was denied, which yep. I wasn't, yeah, sure. or okay, B, that the weight loss surgery storyline was Fake. falsified, yes, that it wasn't it was. even real. Yeah, it was. And that's not true. Uh -huh, Getting sure. weight loss surgery isn't. Oh my god! Is this seriously like she is so? What? It's like I said previously. Why bring up these issues? Why read comments, get upset about them, get pissy about them, and then be like, "Huh, I'm gonna take these fuckers down. I'm gonna make a vlog about it, and then I'm gonna say, but that's not that's not true." Uh, it's the opposite of true. Some would say it's a lie because it's not true. Okay, bye guys. And that's it. That's it. That's that's her entire argument. That's not true. People people say I made this up, but I didn't. Bye guys. That's the end of my TED talk. <laughs> you have nothing. You have nothing. Your proof and receipt is a random fucking email to a random person who may not exist, who's using your thesaurus back to you. Fuck off trying to choose what nail color you want on your pinky toe. Uh -huh. Getting weight loss surgery is a major decision. Yeah, it's almost like that's what people were saying to you at the start when you were getting pissy and throwing a temper tantrum and that's why everyone then called you spoil a spoiled kid, which is hilarious that you're now trying to preach that back at the people who were calling you that already. Like, bro. <laughs> and they even tell you that if you have doubts at all, uh -huh. don't get the surgery. Don't get the surgery. Oh my God. You're going to fail. Oh my God. And the fact that I was having so many doubts. Oh my God. You have doubts? I did everything that they told me to do. No, you didn't. You get weird. <laughs> you, you, you just didn't. You get weird. You didn't stick to your diet. You had to change your diet numerous times because you kept fucking failing it. What? <laughs> Bro, the problem is when you come on here and try and fucking talk down to people and try and like, I'm going to own these people. I'm going to fucking show them proof and then don't actually show any proof whatsoever. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to address the issue of like people saying I got failed when I actually I didn't. Boom, that's my only counterpoint. And then you keep talking. You reveal shit about yourself that is you being dishonest. And then obviously people just go like, well, there you go. You're just shit your bed even fucking more. You just come across looking worse every single time because she can't help herself. She always says too much and she always looks like a fucking idiot. Now she's at the point where she's claiming she did everything that was asked of her, which is wrong. She was meant to lose one fucking pound. She gained weight. She failed numerous fucking diets and had to have her diet changed numerous fucking times. She failed so fucking bad they mandated that she has to do 12 therapy sessions because they weren't happy with her fucking progress. You failed everything. You failed fucking constantly. And that was one of the things. And the fact that I was having so many downs yeah, and sure. I was so disconnected and I just did not want it anymore. Uh -huh. I know that I'm not ready. I had to say something. Yeah, sure. And I have shared. So what I did was I pulled up my Thoris and I started using as many buzzwords as possible. <laughs> and then I got on my other kind and responded to myself and used even more buzzwords. <laughs> A good chunk of this uh, weight loss surgery journey with you guys. And yeah, it's just so. No, you don't. 
insulting just for people it's so insulting that you think we're fucking stupid enough to even believe half of the shit you tell us it's i'm sorry it is actually insulting that you're trying to come off here as an ooh woo victim how could people not believe me when you have already shit the bed in this fucking counter argument to take all that vulnerability and just like throw it in the trash yeah. that goes with like a lot you. of the things that i share and <laughs> we'll get in the trash you your vulnerability on that mcdonald's you all fucking belong there fuck right off <laughs> liam this is pathetic oh my god i can't, I can't believe it's like coming out here to do the ooh woo everyone's so mean to me guys everyone's so mean to me maybe just stop being so fucking condescending maybe stop lying so fucking much and people maybe will, well they'll probably just stop watching you then but maybe they'll actually be nicer to you then as well it's just discouraging. It's so discouraging and it makes me Good. want to put up a wall again. And I've been trying to put that wall share up. more Build of that wall. with you guys. And Trump Berlin. Trump Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mick Amber Grid again. <laughs> Build that fucking wall, Amber. Because I don't give a shit. I don't want to hear about any of this fucking nonsense in the future. Go back to playing with fucking jigsaws and bullshit like that. Because this storyline is fucking stupid. It's so lame. It's it's it hasn't been funny for a while. I like got the start. I know there's a lot of hype about it. But people haven't cared about the storyline in a long time. Because it's so fake. That's why she's dropped it now. Because she realized there's literally no hype about it. She dropped it suspiciously around the same time the Destiny situation happened. Wow, it's almost like she finally got a new storyline she could milk instead. So she jumped across to the Destiny storyline. That burned out quicker than she thought it would because she came across looking like a fucking psychopath. So now she suddenly has pneumonia cancer again. This, it's all this shit. It's, it, it, it's obvious when you look at the fucking timings what's happening here. You know, even today with the whole McDonald's thing, that's... Yeah. Not something I want to share. Uh huh. It's not something I want to share at all. Okay, good. And I don't know. It's just then, then don't, then don't. Just continue to lie to us like you were doing the day before that, pretending that you only eat like eight hundred calories per day, and then mysteriously keep getting fatter. Like it's, she makes it seem like she's being such a good person by admitting one of the many times she's clearly had fucking food. Like, bro, you you don't eat like eight hundred calories a day and keep looking fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Like, she's going, guys, I'm such a good person. Look, I told you I ate McDonald's one time. She's like, yeah, but what about the other 50 fucking times? It's, like, really frustrating. I don't know. I just had to show you guys that. It was, like, something on my mind. And uh -huh. I, I didn't know how else to <laughs> respond to those things. So you made the 50th whiny video that is just dedicated to you sitting in this fucking chair, whining about people. Even though you don't watch reaction channels, you don't read comments anymore, you don't do Q&As, all this stuff. All this fucking nonsense you keep claiming about yourself and you're blown out of the water once again by proving that you just sit there reading and seething about everyone talking about you. Bro, I don't know, just fucking like get off Instagram. Stop fucking reading your comments. Turn off your fucking comments. She has her comments like turned on because like YouTube obviously like tracks engagement and stuff like that. So like people leaving comments is good for your channel. So if you get like lots of, ch if you have like, like an account that has like videos that have like loads and loads of comments on it, YouTube looks at it and goes like, oh, people keep re-engaging with this. People keep like this. They're talking about it. They're discussing it. It's getting discussion going. So it can be used to help you boost you in the algorithm. Amberlynn doesn't get recommended in the algorithm anymore because every one of her videos has like an 80 to 90% dislike ratio. So it's not in the algorithm. Once your account drops for like, like below like 50%, I think it is, it gets taken out of the, al of the algorithm because it's seen as a bad video. Like this, uh, it's, it's, so, it's so simple. It's why you never get recommended videos that have like fucking 90% dislike ratios. Uh, yeah, really bad video. You guys know I'm not a fan of these where it is just her sitting in this fucking chair, whining, making up stuff, very blatantly lying, because she's bad at it. If she was a better liar, it might be more fucking interesting to catch her in her lies, but she's just a bad liar. It's so fucking obvious when she's lying, because she's fucking talking. Uh, yeah, I'm not really fussed. 10 out of 10, worst thing ever. Uh, hate it. Bye. <laughs>